Hello. It's great to meet you. We will cover a few more details in this video for drawing as usual. Let's start with this character. First, let's try drawing with the pen tool. It has a simple basic tap and tab to create a straight line. Double tap the final point to stop inking. Tap and drag to create a curve. Tap the last point again to switch to smart mode. Tap select the last point to continue drawing. That's all there is to it. The pen tool works with the node tool to edit the curve line. Since you already have an Apple Pencil, use the pencil tool to draw the best. I use it often because it seems that the lines drawn by vectors look smoother than those I draw by hand in Pixel Persona. It may be because the settings are not good enough for the brush tool that I use. Try practicing. If you have any suggestions, please give me in the comments. When you're drawing like this in Designer, if you're using a pressure-sensitive controller, you might feel that controlling the pressure in Designer Persona is a bit harder than in Pixel Persona. I felt that myself too. Honestly, it's about what you're most comfortable with. Whether you prefer working in vector or raster, just go with what feels the best for you. When you finish drawing the lines, today we will color them in Pixel Persona. You might want to rasterize the ink lines into raster first. But totally up to you. This mode has tools similar to the general drawing programs that you are familiar with. The coloring method is similar to those in apps like Procreate and Photoshop. Start by creating a new pixel layer on top of the ink layer. Use the Flood Fill tool to color. Set the Fill mode to Current Layer and Below, and then Color. If the fill is not complete, increase the tolerance. Alright. After finishing the coloring, let's try adding shadows, highlight, and details using these methods. When adding shadows or highlights, you can draw directly with the brush tool on this layer by tapping Protect Alpha. Or create a new pixel layer and drag it onto the layer you want to clipping mask. Another way is to select the layer you want to clip a mask on, tap the three points above, tap inside of the insert target, and then tap the plus sign to add a new pixel layer. That's it. The tool in Pixel Persona work like drawing apps. When working with coloring in Pixel Persona the final result may require careful attention of the quality of your work especially when resizing and rendering.
I use the method of drawing lines as vectors. As I mentioned before and then color and add small details I might have missed in Pixel Persona. I am more comfortable working in Designer Persona because if we want to reduce and expand the work, it does not have much effect on the main color layer. These lines are vector based. Also, changing the ink color is easy in the color panel. But what if we want to change only some parts? My approach is rasterize the ink layer completely and then paint over it. Keep in mind that once you rasterize a layer, you won't be able to edit the original line work anymore. Since the solid brush can expand stroke but the texture brush can't for now, so we have to go back to using the clipping mask method instead. You can also go back and add highlights and shadows in Designer Persona. This is a method I use frequently. It's not as easy as Procreate or Illustrator, but it can do similar things. I made this video as a simple guide for you to follow. I didn't go into much detail, but for beginners, I recommend checking out some additional YouTube videos about using the various tools. I believe you'll be able to use it well, it's not as hard as it seems. I haven't had this app for very long myself. I might not focus much on graphic design work, like logos or text, but it can definitely be applied to those as well. While it might sound like I'm promoting this app, my goal is simply to share something I find useful. You already have apps you're comfortable with, and that's great. This is just another option worth trying. Give it a shot and see how it works for you. Alright, this video is not much. In the next video, I will do it in my style, using style apply to shape, to 3D style. I hope you will follow. So that you don't miss it and I will see you again. Thank you for watching.